Hey there guys and welcome to Project 5 Sight Seer, a game that's just recently come out of early access and I have not actually played this before. So I'm going to check it out now. Let's dive in. I'm going to play and first world. Uh, yeah. Mm, can I rename that? Simples World. And online chat. Uh, oh. Uh, because I want to keep this uh, strictly PvE. Would you like to play the tutorial before starting your game? Yeah, go on then. Let's have a look. Greetings. Uh, hello. Response verified. Response time suboptimal, but likely sufficient for the designated task. Proceeding with your orientation. Uh, right. Okay. So who are you? And uh, what and task is that? I reactivated earlier was task mining titanium from a nearby deposit to the west. He was due to return 73 minutes ago. This delay is unacceptable. You need to find it, determine what went wrong, and, if needed, assist it in completing his task. Return back here when you are finished. And what that happens then? On the outcome of your current task. Okay. Do you have any other questions? Uh, where am I? The observation suggests an age congruous planet abundant with black life and natural resources, yet utterly devoid of wildlife. By the conclusion, suggests the planet is still in the early stages of its evolutionary process. Early. I have been active for 3 days, 16 hours, and 23 minutes. With the first priority being establishing an outpost, I have not been able to venture forth in order to perform a more extensive Study. You are an artificial sentient construct instance activated to perform a specific task. Okay. An instance I reactivated earlier was task mining titanium. Yes, Do you yes, have yes. Any other questions? No. Nope. Good. I'm releasing control of your vehicle. You may proceed to the designated coordinates. Alrighty that. Okay. So, right. So controls. Yeah. Right. There we go. We. Yes, thank you. So he's got a little jump. Ah, hold there then. Oh, right, that'll do a little uh, jump spin. I see. Alright, got ya. Okay, so target is somewhere up there. Right, can I adjust the volume? Let's have a look. Uh, oh, that's to construct things. There we go. Right, music volume. Let's turn that music down quite a bit. That'll do. Right. Okay. Got target up there. Why is it pointing down? Huh? What's that? Whoa! What did that do? Uh, scanner. Oh, okay. Right. We make it up here. No. Right. Can I? run trees down I can tr seemingly drive partly through some of them I can drive through a few of them actually ah wait Woo! camera's a bit rogue like it does as it pleases right, is there any way oh Right, so if I press shift, that uh, seems to do like handbrake. <laughs> yeah, that's not working. Ooh. Very slidey, this thing. Oh!
Ah, okay, so we've got something here. Abandoned uh, item, mining turret. Okay. Open your inventory. Uh, click that. My, uh, mining vehicle went missing. It uh, pulls up to you to find and complete his objective. Open your inventory, which I've done. Right, so put that there. Ah. Right, okay. Close that. And it's a. Uh, you have to click it. Right. Okay, so. I had to mine the uh, titanium, it looks like. Ooh! Oh, right. Ah. Interesting. Did it overheat? Yeah, so uh, that bar just above me there, I'm assuming that's the, the heat thing. So you can actually overcharge or overheat the uh, turret by excessive uh, use. Uh, okay, so now we've got return to the outpost. I'm not do anything with that, woo. Unsuitable for mining, no can. Okay. Alright, let's head back then. I do like the amount of vegetation in the game. Uh, at least the uh, land doesn't look dull, but certain areas are a little bit jaggy for their own good, I think. Ooh. Get out there. There you go. Really that. Uh. Ow. So the Vehicle uh, control is actually all right. The handling's not too bad. It's a little bit slippy. But yeah, it's not bad. Right, okay. So place uh, titanium in a container. Oop. How do I do that? Okay, so click that. Uh, titanium. Right, uh, how do I transfer it? Right, can I just drag and drop it? Yes, Excellent. I can. You have returned intact. Did you discover what happened to your predecessor? Oh, so it looks like you can't put, uh, mix the uh, materials within the container. So, let's open that again. Put the zinc in there. This uh, action will result in 22,000 aluminum being dumped into the environment. Are you sure? Okay. No, don't want to do that then. Alright, let's click this. What does it want now? So, excellent. You returned into that. You did use Google what? My details. I see. It's strange that our initial scans didn't pick up any anomalies. Regardless, it appears it's time to adjust our priorities. Insufficient resources, so we need hard metal and silicon. Okay. We need to get over those mountains and see what's on the other side. While it is possible in the rust bucket you currently occupy, it is going to be too difficult to bother. We need to build something that can fly, and for that, we need to do some research. Before we can do research, we need to build a science lab. You can find it in the generator section of the build menu. Yeah, well the thing is though, is it's saying I haven't got enough resources.
So 5,000 hard metal and 4,000 silicon. Uh, where do I find the hard metal then? Alright, so there's copper over there. What's that? Iron. Getting silicon from it though. Interesting. To mine resources from the environment, find an exposed rock, ideally on the, on the side of a mountain. If the aim to target slope is steep enough, you will be able to mine nearby resources. Yeah, okay. But it's now saying unsuitable for mining. Okay, right. Let's venture out a bit then. So I think we we got, um, yeah, we got some silicon, but we are short on the iron. So I need that's what I need as well. Um, I'm assuming that'll be what I use to build the hard uh, steel. Oh, get a variety of uh, resources from that. Okay. Hmm. So if I go up here, oh, what's this stuff? Is that same kind of stuff here? Yeah. So what have I got so far? So I've got selenium, aluminium. Uh, oh, we got iron. So right, let's head back to base and let's just see if we're any close to being able to build what we uh, need for the next stage. Oh, there's that. Yeah, it's saying it ain't there, but we already looked at that and didn't get anything. That aluminum there is too far. So, aluminum, uh, titanium, which is already sorted. Right, okay, so let's have a look now. See. Oop, see. It, oop, no, not that one. That one. And that. We build it. No hard metal. So how do you get hard metal? Ah, right. I think I'm actually getting somewhere now. So, right. I want to take 5,000. To uh, yeah. Take. There we go. Right. Open the inventory. Yeah. Uh, convert 5,000 aluminium to 5,000... Hard metal. So convert to hard metal. Ah, right. Progress. Okay. So now I need to build the science lab. So let's close that. Let's go to that. And drag that out. Let's place it there. Okay. So we've got that built. Open the research window. Research flight. Okay, so foundations, remote control, chemistry, flight. Okay, accept. Okay, why be limited to ground based vehicles when we can dominate the sky? Okay, okay, so let's go in there. Vehicles. Uh, oh, right, there we go. And let's. Build that and come here. Put that there. Okay, take control the LVR1. Okay, so take control. Matthew, you made a beer cap. That should be adequate. I've taken the liberty of installing some upgrades on it for you that should help. Hmm, okay, so tutorial on the. Uh, oh. In case you encounter foes, an enhanced power generator, titanium armor, and ammonium nitrate for the ammo. Okay. The strange non organic matter signature I detected is somewhere to the north. Fly over the mountains, explore the other side, find the threat, and eliminate it. Okay, got ya. Alright. Oh, there we go. We're up. Right, 
Where's the uh, target? Ah, there we go. Got the target up there. Up! 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 What is it doing? It doesn't seem to want to go up anymore. Right. Ugh! What's it doing now? Right. What? Seems like what it wants to do is just hover at a certain level above um, ground and uh, it's sort of like going up and down towards it, but it's sort of like springing around. It's a bit weird. Private outpost discovered. Okay, wait, there's another outpost here. What happened? Did that UFO destroy it? That can't be good. Oop, weather's changed. Activate combat AI. Yeah. Okay, eliminate the threat. Whoa! Turn the camera around. Am I doing anything to it? I have. I didn't get the feeling that I was actually even um, attacking it then. Right, what's this? Oh, yeah, can I pick that up? I've, right. Ugh. Now let's have a look around here. What else is there? Can't see any more. Uh, right, all oh, right. So, yeah, essentially I've completed that and I just need to uh, head back to base. Can I pick this up? Wait, it's a bit unpredictable. This thing, it doesn't. It seems to just like, whoa! It's like, what? I'm not doing anything there. It's just jiggling itself around. Right, I tell you what. Let's just go back then. I don't think that's a wise choice. It being uh, like this, where it follows pretty much every gradient of the landscape because the land is not flat which means that you're spending most of your time with your hover thing going jiggle 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 like it is now that's just bizarre uh. nearly that I'm glad you're back. Now, what did you... You are seeing this thing hovering here, don't you? Yeah. I don't know what it is, nor what it wants. I can't understand anything it's trying to say. It showed up right around the time of the deck of an explosion on the other side of the island, which I can only assume was you completing your task. Am I correct? Great. Well, that may have been a mistake. My scans are detecting a massive energy source within this thing, and if it has weapons to go along with it, there is absolutely nothing we can do to stop it. Your guess is as good as mine. Perhaps see if you can understand what it's trying to say. Okay. And if it does go hostile, take what you can, run, and find another place as far away from here as possible. Good luck. That doesn't sound very promising. Whoa, whoa. Okay, that just sounded like something farted down a microphone. Wow. I've got a feeling this thing's just going to blow the whole uh, uh, base up. It is! Run! Ah! 
<laughs> right. Okay, so yeah, that concludes the tutorial. So yeah, it's all that's it. Uh, go back to the main game and start a new world or join an existing one. Well, that's interesting. I'm gonna. I, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave it there though, and uh, I might be tempted to revisit this game and uh, just see what it's like in the proper in-game thing without the tutorial. But if you've enjoyed the video, make sure you smash that like button, and uh, if you haven't already, hit subscribe. And why not ring that little bell to be notified of future content? I'll catch you next one, guys. Thanks for watching. Oh, God. What's that? Oh. <laughs> yeah, thanks for watching. Bye!